Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Mike Norvell, the Florida State Seminoles working their way through spring practice. And you're kind of hearing some buzz around certain players. And one of those players is former Indiana Hoosier Jalen Lucas coming in through the transfer portal as a guy that is just looking different. And as a Big Ten fan, as a Michigan guy, I am very familiar with Jalen Lucas, who really has flashed that playmaking ability. But you go back to his last two years at Indiana, you could kind of tell they didn't know how to use Jalen Lucas really to the best of his capabilities. He comes over to Florida State. If there is one thing that we know Mike Norvell can do, he can take these offensive weapons and really put them to work in his offense. I think kind of back to Jaheim Bell coming over from South Carolina, who kind of a tweener tight end, got used in a lot of different ways at South Carolina comes into this Florida State offense, and Mike Norvell kind of gets the best out of him. If you're a Florida State fan, you're kind of hoping for the same trajectory for Jalen Lucas. Want to dive into the film from his time at Indiana. Talk about what he brings to this Florida State offense. Extremely excited to get into this one. Before we do, and as always, just want to say thank you to you guys. A massive shout-out to the Florida State fans. Whether we're talking this program from spring practice notes, the transfer portal, on the recruiting trail, cannot thank you guys enough for rocking with the fellas. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into this one. And I want to start with just the athletic profile of Jalen Lucas coming out of high school, where this is a guy that ran a 10-6 in the 100-meter dash. And You've seen Mike Norvell want to load this offense with speed. And Jalen Lucas is one of those guys that just kind of brings more game-breaking speed for this Florida State offense. And a guy that was really good out of the backfield for Indiana as well. 46 targets, caught 34 catches for over 250 yards. And you saw him get used in so many different ways, not only as a pure running back, but as a running back out of the backfield, as a slot wide receiver. This is a guy that can bring so much value to a Florida State offense that I mean gives you a lot of versatility in terms of how you want to attack a defense. I want to get into some of the things that really stand out to me about Jalen Lucas, one being moved all around the football field, right? This is a guy that 211 snaps as a running back, 117 as a slot wide receiver, another 30 as an out wide wide receiver. I want to start with what he can do purely as a running back. And I think one of Jalen Lucas's calling cards here is his ability to make people miss in space and make people miss in a phone booth as well. You talk about quick twitch. We already talked about the straight line speed, right? 10-6. He is one of the faster players in college football. This is also a guy that combines that straight line speed with elite short area quickness, the ability to make people miss. Going back to his true freshman year at Indy. Not snapping it quite I mean, a ton of value to this Indiana team in terms of just routinely making people miss at the second level. Short area quickness off the charts. And again, when it is time to turn on the Jets, Jalen Lucas can certainly do that. You take a look at his time against Michigan as a true freshman. I'll say this as a Michigan fan, I remember this game all too well. Jalen Lucas kind of just running circles around this Michigan defense. You fire up the film here. He wants to get downhill. And this is a guy that, again, when you're one-on-one -on -one with the safety, Jalen Lucas is making that safety miss every single time. You see the short or you see the long speed here kind of flashing. Really, really talented running back when he gets to the second level and is able to operate in space. But the next thing that really stands out to me about Jalen Lucas is what he can do as a pass catcher coming out of the backfield, right? This is you talk about offenses. You talk about trying to find mismatches in opposing defenses. Jalen Lucas is one of those guys because you normally see running backs kind of get tracked by linebackers out of the backfield. This particular rep, you're seeing Louisville this year play kind of that cover two where you're going to have this middle of the field to work. You want to work the scenes when you're seeing that cover two. And these linebackers are going to be responsible for carrying Jalen Lucas up the field. And I'll say this right now with Jalen Lucas's 10 6 speed, they don't have a chance. And you roll the film here, and this is a guy that you just see him kind of with ease run by these linebackers, find that seam, and you see a very natural pass catcher as well. You see just the amount of space. I mean, these linebackers, not a chance to kind of carry Jalen Lucas up the seam, natural pass catcher for a touchdown. And this is a guy that you can line up all over the field and have him impact the game, kind of similar play here, but using as a slot wide receiver to the bottom of your screen. 
Indiana was trying to get Jalen Lucas the ball as many times as they could. You take a look at this rep right here. One really polished route run. You talk about creating separation. You talk about smooth hands for a kind of quote unquote running back out of the backfield gets upfield. You see the blazing jets so many different ways that you can use Jalen Lucas in this Florida state offense and to kind of culminate or kind of bring together, I should say this conversation is, I mean, this is one of the more exciting aspects of Florida state during spring practices kind of purely the amount of playmakers that they have in this Florida State offense. A lot of guys that not necessarily are proven, but guys that we know have a ton to offer to this Florida State offense. You'll see a lot of, you know, kind of casual college football fans and commentators kind of doubt this Florida State team because there's not a ton of returning production on the offensive side of the football. You lose Trey Benson, Keon Coleman, Johnny Wilson, Jaheim Bell, kind of your leaders last year. A lot of people who don't really follow the transfer portal and the recruiting trail kind of doubting this Florida State team saying they don't have any more talent because they lost it all to the NFL draft. You have two guys in Lawrence Tuafili and Jalen Lucas who are just kind of difference makers. And those guys, you want to scheme those touches up as many times as you can. Then you look at the wide receiver position, talking about a guy like Malik Benson, who is faster than Jalen Lucas running a 10-4. You talk about Destin Hill. You talk about Jalen Brown. The amount of speed and difference makers that this Florida State offense has, it is going to be extremely difficult for defenses can kind of deal with that pure speed that Florida State has. And I'll say this, I don't know if there's many defenses in the country that can deal with the playmaking speed that Florida State has. Yes, the talent is not necessarily all proven, right? Guys like Malik Benson, quiet year at Alabama, Hakeem Williams, flashed a little bit as a true freshman, but no proven production. I think that this Florida State offense has a lot of difference makers. And I think Jalen Lucas is one of those guys, and it's all kind of being brought together by a coach in Mike Norvell that even going back to his time at Memphis knew how to use these kind of guys, right? The guys that were just sometimes it's about the Jimmys and Joes, not the X's and O's. And, and you look at Florida State, they have guys that can make plays, and you kind of trust Mike Norvell to kind of put those X's and O's in place to let his Jimmys and Joes kind of be playmakers for this Florida State offense. Jalen Lucas, one of the guys that quickly – getting added to my notebook as a difference maker for Florida State. Appreciate y'all rocking with the fellas. Again, can't thank you guys enough for rocking with the boys. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to y'all later.